Debugging is a very crucial when it comes to the development. Insufficient logging or the missing log trace can really be a showstopper for your development and troubleshooting. Today we are gonna see how to enable the debugging inside your Terraform projects and how to set up a different log level that is debug, trace, info and warn. In the second half of this session, we'll also look at the Terraform validate module and which you can use inside your Terraform project to put some additional validation and to help you with the troubleshooting and debugging. To enable the debugging in the Terraform project, you need to set two environment variable. The first variable is going to be the TF log where you will be setting the different log level. It can either be debug, trace, warn or info. The second variable where you will be mentioning the log file name and the variable name will be TF log path and inside that variable you will be mentioning the log file where you will be storing the log generated by your Terraform project. Let's switch over to desktop and start setting these environment variables. As I have already told you, you need to set the environment variable for setting up the log level. So the first environment variable which I'm going to set is the TF log. And here uh, the value should be debug because we will be setting the log level to the debug. I'll just copy this command from here, go to my terminal and I'll just paste it over here. And we can verify the variable value by running the command echo so that we have set the correct value over there. So I'm just going to paste it over here. And here you can see uh, the value is set to debug. The next environment variable which we need to set is for our log file. And the variable name should be tf log path. And the value should be the path of the log file where you want to store the Terraform log. So here in my case, this is the path where I'll be storing the Terraform log. This path may differ based on your operating system and your directory structure, but you can update the path as per your need. So I'm just going to copy this command over here, go back to my terminal and I'm just going to paste it over here. And we can verify by running the command df log path. And here you can see this is this has been exported successfully. Now after exporting the environment variable, we will switch over to the Terraform project. This is my Terraform projects and we will run some Terraform command so that we can generate the logs. So this is uh, one of my simplest Terraform project which is running on AWS. I'm just trying to set up an EC2 instance onto my AWS account. And the instance type is t2.micro. I'm just setting a very small uh, virtual machine onto my AWS. So it's a very basic example. I'll drop the link of my this GitHub project into the description section so you can follow this. And the commands which I'm just going to run, the first command which I'll run is terraform init. The second command which I'm just going to run, I'll just clear the screen over here, terraform plan. And the last command so that I can apply the changes here, you can see in the Terraform plan, it's planning to add one resort, but it has not added yet. So the final command, which I'm just going to run is Terraform apply. So I'm just going to run Terraform apply and it will create an EC2 instance onto my AWS account. I'm just going to type yes. And it might take a couple of minutes to uh, set up an EC2 instance. As you can see, my Terraform apply command has successfully finished and I'm able to create an EC2 instance on AWS. And you can verify uh, onto my EC2 dashboard, you can see Terraform EC2. And this is the same thing which we have provisioned using the Terraform. And if you jump into our code, then you can see Terraform EC2. So our EC2 instance has been created successfully. The next thing which we need to verify is our log file. So go back to your path. So this is the path which I have given user Rahul Wag documents and log. And if you check our uh, you know, environment variable, then it is like same path user Rahul Wag documents log and debug.log file, the name of my log file. So here, this is my debug.log file and you can open with any of your editor. So I'm just open with the sublime. And here you can see these are the logs which has been generated and uh, we can uh, find our EC2 uh, instance here also. So we can type example and here you can see AWS underscore instance EC2 underscore example. So these are the logs which has been generated with our Terraform project and you can verify the same thing. Uh, from our vis Visual Studio code. So here you can see EC2 example. So I just wanted to uh, show you the log trace which has been generated once I have set the log level to be debug. 
So that was just in one example where you can set the log level to debug. And that was just a very small project. But if you have a big project, then you can set the log level based on your uh, requirement like error, info, trace or warn. Now the next topic which we are going to look for debugging is the validation. We have a Terraform validate module which can really help for troubleshooting and debugging purpose. So let's switch over to our desktop once again and see the Terraform validate module. Again, jumping back to the project, which I have explained to you earlier for setting up the debug log level. So here I have declared a variable inside that we have created a validation block. So here uh, I'm just going to put some validation condition so that uh, uh, before creating any EC2 instance, we should validate what kind of a EC2 instance we are just going to create. So this validation condition puts up a check like uh, you can either create a nano micro or small EC2 instance. And if you are trying to create any other EC2 instance, let's say large or extra large, then it will not allow you to create. It will just throw an error message into the logs. So with that way, you can put some kind of a certain validation inside your Terraform projects. To verify this, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the type from t2.micro. So I'm just going to put t2.large and I'm just going to save the file and uh, from the terminal since i have already run the terraform init command so i don't need to run it so i can run the terraform plan command and here you can see uh, you got the error message invalid value for the variable because our validation has caught and here uh, you can see we are just trying to pass a t2.large but the allowed values are nano micro and small so here uh, you can see the error message also like uh, invalid instance type, you can only choose t2.nano, micro or t2.small. So this kind of a validation, which you can also uh, include inside your Terraform project, which can help you to put some errorful messages into the console. So whenever someone is trying to run or execute this project, then he will or she will face this kind of an error message onto the console. I hope you liked your today's session on Terraform debugging and validation. And I hope these uh, tips can help you to improve your Terraform projects, troubleshooting and debugging. If this is the first time you're coming to this channel, then I have a complete Terraform list if you're trying to learn the Terraform. I'll put the link into the description section and there is a complete playlist where I have covered the various topic on Terraform. And if you have any suggestion or any issues, then please put down into the comment section and I'll try to answer those. And uh, if you are interested in the similar content on a DevOps on a weekly basis, then consider subscribing to this channel where I keep on sharing similar content on a weekly basis. See you into the next session of a Terraform or DevOps. Till then, take care and bye-bye.